Hey, what's up, everybody? Tyler here, your northern flipper. Just uh, out here at a Tim Hortons today. Got my coffee sitting down. Figured I'd make a quick video today to give you guys uh, five tips uh, to help sell your items better on Let Go. Now, if you don't know what Let Go is, you should probably look it up. It's another uh, local buy and sell thing, kind of like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Kijiji. Um, the beauty with Let Go is it's really user friendly and simple to set up. Uh, very easy to get your items listed probably too easy and the the issue I find with a lot of people who sell on let go is that because it's so easy to list and get everything set up their items just sit and they don't really sell so I'm gonna give you five tips here to help you sell your items a bit more effectively a bit more efficiently and hopefully faster and for more money so I uh, let's get right started so number one uh, first and foremost is pictures you definitely need to have your pictures HD well lit um, you know have a nice good shot from a distance not too far and then obviously some close-up pictures as well I would recommend at least three photos upwards of six or seven if you really want to go um, in depth to show a lot of different angles different um, you know close-ups far as away just a bit of the whatever it is you're selling just the details uh, the more photos the better um, it will help with the search algorithms to help your item pop up a little bit better as well but at least three um, to help the buyer really get an idea of what it is that you're selling. Uh, the second would be definitely the title. You could just put something like, you know, uh, PlayStation or something like that. But I mean, if you really go into detail with the title, it's going to help people when they're searching for, let's say it is a PlayStation, you know, what is it? A PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, is it a PSP? You know, put in what it is. So let's say PlayStation 4, for example, you want PlayStation 4, you want to put in the hard drive size, you want to put in if it comes with any controllers and games. Um, really utilize as many characters as possible and keep those keywords in there. Uh, Sony, PlayStation, video games console uh, you know 320 gigabytes or 500 gigabytes with controllers um, any details you can put in if you can shove more details in there do it because you want um, the average person to search who's searching for a PlayStation 4 to find yours uh, which kind of leads to the next one which is the description in that description don't just have game console tested just put as much detail as you can you have a lot of room to put as much information as possible put the hard drive size put the uh, the color put how many controllers do you have any games are all the hookups and cables there um, you want to give the buyer a sense of exactly what they're going to get and make their life easier you know if you have all the cables give them the cables you don't want them to have to try to find cables elsewhere is because they're just going to try to find someone who is selling it with cables um, so by putting as much items in the description as you can or as much detail in the description as you can is going to help your chances in selling the item a lot more faster um, I mean if you're selling furniture put the dimensions if you're selling clothes put the size uh, if there's any you know flaws or chips or cracks or scratches uh, anything put it Put it in there just get it in there so they can see as much detail as possible so they can have that mental idea of what the item exactly is uh, before they make the effort to reach out to you and then come and get it uh, number four is the price and this thing is really important coming as from a reseller who buys on let go um, you really need to understand your price what the market value is and how much you really reasonably want to expect for an item um, so I mean, first and foremost let's say you have a PlayStation 4 it's used you're not gonna get the full price of it new you're not even gonna get anywhere close to the price of it new but you know what's it worth you know uh, so go on eBay like most people do and then do a search PlayStation 4 console and it's gonna populate and pop up a whole bunch of different prices um, but know that just because those pop up and what they're selling for it doesn't mean what people are actually paying for them um, so a little tip for you if you're if you're not you know privy with eBay when you search and you search down that column go down the left hand side and click sold items that's what you want to see that's the price that's going to give you a better idea of what it's worth so let's say they're all listed for 250 bucks and then you click sold and all the recent ones are only selling for 199 dollars well guess what they're only worth 200 bucks. They're not worth 250. So if you're gonna start listing it on Letgo for 250, no one's gonna buy it because they're gonna find them for 200 everywhere else. So keep that in mind. Another thing on that point as well is you need to learn 
who your buyer is. It's not always just the end user. You're going to be a lot of resellers like myself will come and browse, let go, and look to buy things to resell. So me buying a PlayStation 4, if I know the value of it is $200, I'm not going to be looking to spend more than $140 to $150 for that PlayStation 4. Now, it it is entirely up to you if you want to hold out for that 200 you're more than welcome to but there's probably a lot more buyers that are willing to pay you a little bit less to take it off your hands because they obviously want to make a little bit of money too if you don't want to sell it on ebay sell it to someone who has the time to do it or the, the structure and the process down because you're not always going to get end users always you know we camera i find it all the time cameras video games video game consoles um everything Pretty much everything a lot of people will just go on ebay see what it's listed for and say oh that must be what it's worth but it's not what the selling rate is for and then what how long you really want to sit on it do you really want to wait you know three or four months for the end user to come and buy your playstation 4 or do you want to wait two weeks at most and you know take 50 bucks off the going rate and get that cash in your hand now um which leads me to my last point especially when it comes to selling on Letgo, is patience. With local buy and sell, and this is the bane of it, is that you're going to have a million and one people you know, hitting that easy button, is, is this still available? And you're going to get that a lot. And there's going to be people who aren't even interested in it, they just want to know if it's still there. Um, so answer them simply, just do yes, don't, don't spend time on it. If they're really interested, they'll follow up with you. Um, and just just show patience your items are not going to sell in 10 minutes you know it might but it probably won't um just give it some time be polite with people and uh, obviously you know never meet them at your home go meet them in a public place um, bring a friend if you need to if you're in an area where you feel that's justified i find most people are pretty decent people um just take into account what you're selling um you know if you're selling baby clothes it's probably not a real danger but if you're selling you know an ipod or an ipad or a computer uh electronic something that carry a substantial amount of value always do it in public do it in a very high traffic area where you know you can be seen by people um you know that's that should be nice and safe for you so like i said to recap number one pictures 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 get them in there get them detailed uh number two is the title make sure you have good keyword description um to make sure that people can search and find your items number three is that description the full details put everything you can dimension size uh color any damages etc uh four is the price um understand that you're not not always going to get what you want uh just figure out what you're willing to accept and uh five is patience just wait 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 it out stuff will sell just uh, hang on, because depending on what it is, um, if it's not a very, very mainstream popular item, you just gotta wait for the right buyer to find you. Anyways, guys, I hope you uh, you learned something from this video here today. Uh, please smash that like button. Leave any comments if you have any questions uh, or anything else you want me to make some other videos for you. And um, obviously subscribe. I, lo I love to uh, to hear from you guys, and uh, I like making this content for you guys, sharing what I know. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video, and uh, have a great day. Stay warm.